On to other updates, a 6.2 magnitude earthquake rocked Indonesia's Lombok Island, killing more than 150 people and bringing down several buildings on Thursday. Another earthquake of 5.9 magnitude hit the same island while the rescue workers were still digging through the rubble. Reports claim a few more buildings have collapsed after the latest quake. While the official death toll stands at 131, a few media reports also claiming that the death toll can be three times the official numbers. More than 1,400 people have been injured and over 1 lakh have been displaced. Emergency workers are continuing to dig through rubble and are gradually starting to reach more remote areas of the large island. Tens of thousands are now sleeping out in the open or in the ruins of their homes. The people are blaming the poor housing quality in Indonesia's quake hit, hit Lobok Island for high casualty figures. According to the National Disaster Management Agency, a majority of the casualties were caused by collapsed houses. The earthquake has also given a heavy blow to the local tourism industry. A 23-year-old woman who was buried under the rubble caused after the earthquake has been rescued two days after the quake of 7.0 magnitude. Struck Indonesia's Lombok Island, uh, Nedia Rabinel was shopping in a mini-mart when the quake struck. The neighbors uh, heard her cries for help and called for rescue teams. The entire rescue operation was captured by Nadia's boyfriend on his cell phone. Menolongnya pada saat itu kita kita di kita warga di sana uh, evakuasi dia dan juga Polri uh, menginformasikan juga ke semua warga bahwa dia masih hidup di sana dan pada saat itu kita langsung menghubungi pihak-pihak yang berwajib seperti TNI dan Polri Earlier, the locals had tried to pull out Nadia but failed as they lacked proper tools and machinery. The earthquake claimed over 130 lives and injured 1,400, uh, 14,000 uh, approximately. According to the Indonesian Disaster Management Agency, most of the casualties were caused by collapsed houses.